here in a beautiful rolling meadow in gorgeous western Washington State, right on the shores of the Puget Sound. I'm looking out over the calm waters, the rolling hills, the majestic mountains in the distance. And when I saw this field with that little chapel in the woods over my shoulder, I don't know if it's still active, I don't think it is, but boy, I said this is the perfect place for us to continue our First Timothy 2 daily prayer sessions for our top government officials. We're praying state by state in alphabetical order, and we're already at the state of Virginia, or more precisely, the Commonwealth of Virginia. That's where I have a home, so I know it very well. Let's pray together for Virginia, shall we? Holy God, we pray first for the state government of Virginia, beginning with its governor, Tim Kaine for his family, his staff members, his advisors, uh, also for the legislators of the Commonwealth of Virginia and the members of the judiciary, that together, Lord, they would seek to know your will and always to obey it, that they might benefit the people they serve. And when they do not, Lord, if it pleases you, move upon the electorate to change those who are in office uh, for those who will seek to know you and to obey your will. We pray, Lord, for the U.S. congressional delegation, beginning with Senators Jim Webb and Mark Warner with their families, staff members, and advisors, that again, Lord, they would seek to know you, to always uh, obey you. And uh, when they do those things that are displeasing to you, we pray out of your love, chasten and correct them. We pray, Lord, for the members of the uh, U.S. House of Representatives from Virginia, Rob Whitman, Glenn Nee, Robert Scott, Randy Forbes, Tom Perriello, uh, 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 for Bob Goodlot, uh, Eric Cantor, Jim Moran, Rick Boucher, Frank Wolf, and Jerry Connolly with their families, their staff members, their advisors, that together, Lord, They would seek your face to know your will and always to carry it out. And when they do not, Lord, we pray, correct them for the sake of the people they serve, the nation, and for the world that we influence. We pray in Christ's holy name. Amen.